Hmm, how I became famous. Now I know what you're thinking. Who is this guy? And I'll tell you, there really should be an asterisk in small print, which I might put in the thumbnail, who knows, but this is how I became famous in middle to high school. Okay, not clickbait, technically, because it's a funny story though. So, when I was in middle school, I was a unique kid. I got in trouble, to say the least, and I was put on on-team suspension. Now, you're probably asking, what's on-team suspension? And the best that I could put it, it's like ISS, which is in-school suspension, but not because, okay, so the only thing I can differentiate from it is I assess you go to a specific room in the school and then they have like a person that monitors you there and whatever. But with on team, it's similar, but you don't go to that room. So you would stay in a normal classroom and just do work from all your classes that day in that one room. So now that we understand what OTS or on team suspension is kind of, we can move on with the story. So at the beginning of that day during first period, the teacher who was our substitute teacher at the time took all of us to the bathroom and I didn't have to go at the time. I probably just went before school, you know, just trying to get ahead of the game, you know, because I got work to do. I'm just being normal. And really, the bathrooms at school were just, they were wild, man. They were a wild place. If you know, you know. <laughs> if you knew, if you know, you know what I'm talking about. But I didn't have to go at the time. And so she was like, you don't have to go use the restroom. And I was like, no, I'm good. She's like, okay. And so we all went back to class. I sat down, continued my suspension. And some time went by. And now it's like fifth period. And I was like, hey, uh, so-and-so teacher, can I use the restroom? She was like, why didn't you go when we went? I was like, I didn't have to go at the time. Like, do you guys ever just wonder why teachers, like who do teachers think they are? It's like, oh, I only have to pee like once in a day or something. Like I can't even make a joke about it because it's like, well, what do you say to that? Like. A period is like 45 minutes long, maybe roughly around there. I don't remember, probably longer. And it's fifth period by now. So, you know, it's been a couple of hours since then. Logically, I probably would have to go if I didn't have to go back then, you know? And she's just like, why didn't you just go? I'm like, because I didn't have to go at the time. Like, I told you that, you know? Like, and she's like, well, no, you can't go. I'm like, man, I, anyone else hate that? Like, how can a teacher tell us we can't go to the restroom? Like, isn't it my human right? Like, I'm gonna start a petition or something because that was ridiculous. That should not be a rule. I remember when I first started college, I was like, yes, we get to use the restroom whenever we want. Like, why was it even a thing in the first place, you know? Like, uh uh, I can't do that. I can't go back to that ever. But, yeah, so she told me no, I couldn't go to the restroom. And I was like, I really got to go. So I need to find out what I got to do because I am not, I'm not wetting myself in this class at all. Not for one. I would, I would much rather just have my fingers cut off than to do that. Because once you do that, no one's going to let it off you. You're not going to live it down until maybe, maybe your high school reunion in like a, a couple of years. And you know, mind you, I'm in middle school. Like sixth seventh grade so i was like okay i need a plan so what i did was i needed a book for my assignment because i'm doing work in there and i didn't have the book on me but it was that okay i need more i need more exposition so the school was overcrowded so we had classrooms and trailers outside and that's where i had my team at was in the trailers for overcrowding the book that i needed was in the trailer a couple trailers down. It was a quick little walk, maybe like two trailers down. And I was like, hey, uh, I need to go get this book for this project or this assignment that I have here. And she was like, mm. she looked at me cause she was very suspicious of me. And she was like, hmm, okay, all right, I'll let you go. 
you know, you have to. You got to let me go at that point. But it's just like, so you'll let me go for a book, but I simply just can't use the restroom. I mean, do you, does anyone else see that the weird, like, is that, how is that complicated, you know? But I go and get the book, and that day it was, well, I forgot what they call it. I'm just going to call it Sheriff Day, where a sheriff comes in and they talk to you about stuff and whatnot. It was, it was something going on. I didn't get to enjoy that day because, of course, I was on on-team suspension. So I went to the trailer and I got the book and I was like, wait, I could just go real quick and have nobody notice, nobody see what's going on, right? It could be real slick and smooth in and out and she wouldn't even know the difference. And um, some more exposition. I know, all this exposition. I had just moved to the South recently during this time. Like, this is all happening in Georgia and I used to live in New Jersey. And in New Jersey, it was pretty normal to piss on the school, you know, because it's just, it's just brick, you know? We just go there and you just have a little wank, not wank, uh, <laughs> you just have a little tinkle and then that's it, you know? And then you just zip up and you go on, you go about your way, you know? And so there was no big deal up there, probably for the place I was living in. Like down here is a little bit nicer than where I was at, like people, say it was from the ghetto but regardless of that fact we we didn't care up there long story short so down here I thought the same sentiment supplied you know so I went and I found a trailer a nice one that I thought I could hide everything all my goodies will be covered up nice and well and then I, I let it rip and it was very very relieving it was nice I was like ah yep that's great man that's wonderful and I got back in. I was like, I, I was like, okay, I'm back. You know, came in. Uh, everything was cool. Everything was kosher. And then um, the period ends, right? And as students are shuffling in and out of the trailer, leaving their current class to go to their new one, um, the new kids that are coming in into the trailer that I was at, they started snickering and giggling. You know how kids are when they know something that's pretty funny and it's about you. And then that started getting me nervous because I know what I've done, but at the same time, I'm just making sure no one saw my willy, you know? I don't need anyone to see in my wiener. I'm in like sixth, seventh grade, so you know, I gotta make sure that stuff locked up because they're not gonna call me small boy willy, you know? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so I was pretty nervous. And then, next thing you know, the teacher was like, how could you? I'm like, what? I was like, I got the book. <laughs> Me being smart, like, I got the book. Like, I didn't lie, I did need the book. And I went and I got it, so I don't really see the issue. And you guys are probably like, why don't you just go to the normal bathroom? Well, because, B being outside, it would have took way too long and she would have been suspicious. But I, in hindsight, I really should have just did that because she really can't get mad at me. Like I would much rather, I'd be like, hey, I really had to go. So I'm gonna go walk into the school and I just peed and it came back out. Because what I did there, when I peed behind the trailer, somebody saw me. You know, these trailers have windows, you know, students get bored and they look out the window and boredom because they're trapped in there and it's, 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 it's something, you know, it's, that's a whole different topic. But I remember her very, very, very fondly. It was, I'm not gonna say her real name, so I'm gonna call her, I'm gonna call her Gloria. So Gloria was looking out the window at that fateful moment when I was releasing my load. Not, okay. <laughs> um, so she saw me and she was like, oh my gosh, Yadi's pissing on the trailer. Just yelling, you know, being, being so obnoxious and telling everybody, even the sheriff that was in there, Everyone found out about it. And you know, word spreads fast. You guys don't understand. So it's been said, it's been done. I I was caught, people found out. And then, boy, it got real after that. Like I got sent to the office. They were like, hey, we're gonna put you in OSS for five days and you're gonna have a hearing. I'm like, a hearing? Y'all trying to sue me? 
I was, I was, mm, you know, back then I didn't really know what a hearing was. I was like, a hearing? I was like, wait, what? And it was, it was wild. It got crazy. Like, and then uh, my parents found out and I told them and they were like, you know, we're going to, uh, to the board of education for this because she didn't let you go to the bathroom when you asked. And I was like, okay, you know, I'm just sitting there in the back seat of the car being little, little me. It's like, oh man, what did I do? Because it was just such a culture shock for me. I'm not used to people caring so much about what I pissed on. Like, I mean, I, I do now, like I understand like, hey, you know, Maybe I shouldn't have done that, but it was dire consequences. I had to do it, okay? I had to do it. My, my bladder, my bladder was blowing and I had to let it release, you know what I'm saying? So it got real. We were going back and forth with the principals and, and that, that was the moment that glorified me in my name. Like there were people coming to me that I didn't even know existed. Like. Oh my God, are you the guy that pissed on the trailer? Oh my God, like, dude, that's so awesome. And like, people people would never let it down. I mean, it was just jokes after jokes after jokes after jokes. Like, people, there are people who like being famous, but it depends on what you got famous for. Like, cause you get, you just get, oh, it's like just a parasite constantly in your ear. Everybody knew. Everybody was like, yo, this dude pissed on a trailer. And it would be every year. People didn't people didn't even let that go in high school. I mean, like senior year, people are still bringing that up because that's like something they never really heard about before, you know? And it was it was very interesting. I definitely uh I definitely I definitely dodged the bullet there, but I didn't even get to the resolution of all this story. I'm I keep getting sidetracked. So my parents, we we had we were going back and forth with the principals, and they were like, okay, so because she didn't give you a chance to go use the restroom when you asked, and it was a lot of time since the last time they all went together, we will not have the hearing, and we will cut out the the OSS. I still had OSS for like a day or two, but they, they got rid of the rest of it. And it was, it was wild. Like that was, that was a crazy time. Mm. So I was pissed on the trailer Yachty and I was kind of proud of it. It was, you know, you can't knock it. You can't get mad at that. I had to go. I had to go. And it, it just stems from the problem of the fact that teachers feel like they could just tell you whatever and control you and your bladder. And that really shouldn't be the case. Like I get it, some kids do too much and they get themselves in trouble and they, they, they do things they shouldn't be doing, but you can't really put that against everybody when people, there are people out there who legitimately have to use the restroom. And it's not like I was asking immediately after somebody else too. It was, I just had to go. And I, I mean, clearly I had to go. Like, as, as you all know, I went on the trailer. Like, let's be real. But yeah, I was just, I was that guy. I was that guy. And you know, looking back on it, it, it was, it was not, I don't regret it. I don't regret it. I know I probably said that earlier, but I, I don't regret it because I'm going to stand my ground. I'm going to do what I got to do. When I implore all of you to as well. Just make sure it's legal and make sure you don't get uh, sued. Because <laughs> I, I dodged the bullet with that one. You know, being a little youngling out here in the streets, you know, as the cool kids say, right? But anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up. I hope that story was uh, was funny. I hope it was entertaining. And um, if you have a birthday coming up and you drive a car, make sure to get your registration renewed. Don't forget because you don't want to get caught lacking out there and then people like, oh, was your license and registration and then it's expired and you get into more trouble. Yeah, just make sure you got it. And that's my that's my uh my daily reminder for you for the people who made it this far. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna keep doing that. 
that way you guys could watch the video and get some useful tips and reminders and things like that but anyway um i'm gonna do the usual youtuber bit now comment like subscribe you know no one's probably gonna read this or hear this or see this or even watch this video but i'm a i'm gonna watch the video so i'm gonna remember to comment like and subscribe yeah but just keep doing what you do guys i i wish you the best of luck mate peace out